Okay, I'm gonna do a simple circuit for you guys. So I'm gonna go from here from four into the power diode, then out from the power diode, I'm using red guys, to the load, okay, or actually to the DC. So anyway, to this current right here, and out from the DC. Why do we connect DC guys? Because we are converting, right? AC into DC using this, and then to the load, and then no, we go to the here, to the current isolator, okay? And out from the current isolator because I want to connect the oscilloscope. If I don't connect the oscilloscope, I don't need this. I want to go to the load, and then I will close the circuit. So that's what I have done here for Anna. Huh? So when I go from variable right here, AC, that's the source, AC. I came to the power diode. The power diode will convert. It will give me half wave in this case, right? Okay. I go out to the DC because now, I, since I put it half wave, it will be DC, right? Yes. That's the source. The output will be only positive. Okay. That's the circuit. The voltage, all the time, see here, this is, the, this is red. I use red for the circuit. And for the voltage, across, across the load, you guys see, here, either to the voltmeter or to the voltage isolator, it's the same. See here? You guys see this? Yes. I'm gonna take another, another blue. I'm gonna go from the voltmeter, either to the, to the same point, or here. Yeah. That's my circuit, okay? The uh, load, I don't know how much are the load right here. They're looking for 60. 60, you can just use this to find the 60 right here. And 60 right here, 600 and 300 is on. And everything is on. That's 60, you know how to take, you know how to take this, right? Okay. That's it, let's see here. Okay, and it, uh, okay, let's increase up to, for example, 60 here. You guys see this one is going opposite, see here? So in this case, turn off and flip this, and flip this if the reading goes to the negative, huh? You don't have to do this. Turn on, okay. Now I'm going to give it, for example, uh, 120. Okay, that's 120 here. Because this is not in the same place, so this is for N. That's for N, huh? okay? That's 120, okay? Yes. This is, see here the output? The output is 50 volt, which is, if I give it 100, something that's only half. It's half wave, right? Yes, yes. It's only half. Now, I need to uh, use the oscilloscope the voltage and current, that's the oscilloscope, okay? Make sure you record right, otherwise I'm gonna give you like zero. Okay, see here, I'm gonna use any channels. Normally guys, I use the yellow channel for the current and the blue channel for the voltage. voltage. We're gonna use this for the whole semester, okay? As we said here, red for the circuit, blue for the volt, and the yellow for the, for the load. Same thing here, this is yellow. So I'm going to go here, this is the ground, and this is here, and that's the ground in the middle. And this one here for the volt, the blue one, same thing, the ground in the middle right here. Okay. So here, you come now, let's see, we're going to put auto set. You can come closer. I'm going to press auto set, that's the beginning that you need to do. Make it auto set and see. And then you start fixing, huh? Nothing here, okay, nothing here, okay, I'm not, I need to, because this is not connected yet, I need to press this, I need to give the electricity to this, uh, to this uh, isolator right there, okay, see now I have something, I'm going to press auto set again, okay, now I have something guys, I have, I, the current is the yellow, right, come closer, I'm gonna use, this one here is the position for the yellow, means up and down. So I'm gonna put everything in the x-axis, see here? 
That's that's you see the arrow right here? I'm gonna put the arrow in the x-axis. Okay? Yes. This one here is a flipped, the blue. So if it's a flipped, I press this and I flip it. This one to flip. Now I come use the position which is up and down. I'll bring it up, 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 and in the same x-axis. That's the arrow. Okay? But the values are not the same. You see the values right here? The values for each box. One is 2 volt, the other one is 5 volt. Is it clear? Yes. I need to make them the same. We're going to use 2 volt all the time. Okay? For voltage and for current. So I'm going to put this 2 here. This one, to use this one. Huh? This one is to choose the value of the voltage. So I'm going to put this 2. That's 2 now. This one is this one here is to choose the value of the volt. This one is for the yellow, and this one is to choose the value of the volt of the voltage, which is the blue. Okay. Now this is to choose the time here. This one is to choose the time, and I need to make it now. It's ten milliseconds. I want to use it either five or two point five. That's five. See how it's clear now. Yes. And that's two point five. You see how it's clear now. And now we can see the voltage, which is the blue, and the current, which is the yellow. And all the time, the voltage is bigger than the current. Okay? You will find that the voltage is almost double in this case. See? Yeah? So now, let me repeat. This is the yellow channel. This one here is up and down. This one. This one here, if you want to press it, it will give you the information of the yellow. So... You want to invert, it can invert. See how I invert the yellow? I'll bring it back. You want to play with the value of the volt of the yellow? You play with the value here. You want to play with the value of the voltage, which is the blue? You play with this. You want to move it uh, horizontal? You use this. See here? See? No, that's the time, sorry. You want to pull, this is the horizontal here. This one. That's, you want to move it left and right, see? That's, you want to see the whole cycle. This is half wave, guys. You study this on uh, electronics. Okay? Clear? Actually, this is almost experiment number one. Okay? Today, I know you guys aren't ready. Anyway, uh, you guys see here, that's the current. You can record the current right here. You can record the voltage right here. Okay? That's it.